So, it wasn't about bears at all. They were looking for a dominant. Yeah, that's right. Thought we were hiding the bastard. Like any of us would keep a monster like that under our roof. No offence. When no one talked, they started rounding up everyone with a brand. And then everyone without one and all. And locked you in the cellar, hoping sooner or later someone would break. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, things might have been different if you'd accepted my invitation. Oh, don't remind us. We were all saying the yeah. same thing. Yeah. This is our home, innit? Yeah. Don't mean we won't help when we can, though. And that... I'll drink too. <sighs> oh, come hear the tale of Lord D on the board, whose tamed worms a thousand and slain the tenfold. One hundred full legions the young dragoon led, and watched as a million foes turned tail and fled. His lance levels mountains, it spanned as the deep. The skies over storm breaks for Listen, Clive. And should the Revenge won't bring him back. It won't. His name will live on Thirteen years ago, I watched a dominant kill my brother right in front of me. And I did nothing. But now I can. I can kill the son of a bitch and bring peace to my brother's soul. After that, whatever happens, happens. Fate. You're content to be a slave then. His radiance would have us believe the Imperial host invincible. Yet here we find the Empire's cornerstone teetering on the backs of a handful of cowards and cutthroats. <laughs> While Bahamut may lead a hundred full legions, could it be that the young prince defends a house of cards ready to topple at the slightest breeze? Tell me something. Why do you not resist? Within you lies the power to slay gods. The phoenix perished in your flames. Yet you do not fight. You do not flee. You refuse your gift. Perhaps you are distracted. <sighs> offer still stands. Join us and you will be treated with the respect one of our kind deserves. Lord Margrace, don't! I'll give you a moment to consider your options. Do be gentle with them. Clive! <laughs> Wake up. Gav's back. Canovent. One of the Empire's outlying strongholds, though apparently not strong enough to keep out the Royalists. The captured bearers are inside. 
I'm sure of it. If Benedicta's orders are to stay in the shadows, she won't be traveling with many men. Meaning, she'll be keeping her prisoners together and close by. Including the Dominant. So, we find a way into the fortress and conjure a bit of chaos. Uh, what about me? Excellent question, Gav. You will wait outside the care and guide those I free to safety. And miss all the fun? Why can't he do that? Clive doesn't have your nose. He'd stumble off a cliff before he even found the men. Come on, Gav. You're the best man for the job. Well... When you put it that way... <sighs> Suppose I'd better scout ahead for any surprises. Don't you let him down. I won't. All right. Shall we? Not so fast. We wait until tomorrow. But he's right there. And if we leave now, we'll arrive just as the sun comes up. Maybe join the guards in breaking their fast. Come on, Clive. They only just took the place. They'll be there a while yet. We've got one chance at this. You don't want to waste it, do you? No. So we see Benedicta has gone and captured the other Dominant. Oh, I think it's pretty obvious that the Dominant that we saw captured was in fact not Ifrit, was actually Joshua. Because, I don't know, it's gotta be. <laughs> I mean, who the fuck else? But there is a bit of a... We're getting a little bit of an idea of what her intention was with the whole thing. Because she captured him because he is so powerful and she wants to turn him to her cause. Now, I don't know how you um, do that by torturing much, his companions and all that, but, you know, they were able to convince Clive to fight for the Empire just by putting a tattoo on his face, so fuck, I guess it works. Whatever. <laughs> so, Clive is motivated by the singular desire for revenge. And Sid is kind of was using that motivation before and maybe thinking that Clive would help him out after he helped after uh, Sid helped Clive get the vengeance. But now he's trying to tie trying to talk him back a little bit, trying to yeah, walk him back voice. off of that cliff Never a bit, saying, many. like, yeah, it's not going to get your brother back. Is but Clive is on. he's definitely this is the one thing that he wants. He wants this vengeance and he's going to try and get it at least. Not, of course, realizing that he's the. Quentin, Probably my good not. man. It seems we'll be spending the night. I thought as much. Where do you find that one? Oh, him? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Quinton here is an old friend. One who is sympathetic to our cause. Sympathetic? And he knows about your little sanctuary. I would never have guessed so many people were bent on setting us free. When last I checked, the mere thought would only a trip to the gallows. I am well aware of the risks, as I am of the rewards. And what could be more rewarding than your very own dominant of fire? A dominant? Here? Now that I would like to see. Meaning you haven't. No, but nothing passes unnoticed in Lost Wing. Take your brand, for example. People will see that at once. And I need hardly tell you how they will greet the inquiries of a bearer. You are afraid your words will fall on deaf ears. As they have ever since the moment you were marked. Happily, I can provide a solution to your dilemma. As a favor to Sid, that is. Mm. 
Take this. You will find it has the uncanny power to loosen tongues. May the mothers guide you. This might be Imperial land, but here in Lost Wing, it's his word that's law. But how? You don't need to worry about that just yet. Trust me. Everyone in Lost Wing knows what that seal means, and what it means if they don't take note. Now we can sit here counting our blessings, or put them to good use and find that dominance. Your choice. Let's see if this thing really works.